Hello all you fellow nerds out there and welcome to this session of Nerd Week Podcast. Be prepared for banters, ranters, spoilers, and rangers. There will be nerdgasms, nerd tears, and occasionally nerd shunning on at least one of these victims. <laughs> Speaking of victims, I am your host, The Thing, and today we have... Rogue. Dragon. Garrett Top. Though it's more of a black top right now. <laughs> nah. Black top. Me, we we black got top. it. We're giving each it. other's jokes tonight. That's <laughs> okay. good. Thank you. Woo. And I've been dropping a lot of them. <laughs> okay, so what do you have here? We made sushi. We did make sushi. And guess what happened tonight? Hmm, gravity. <laughs> <laughs> gravity. Um, gravity. Not your paying ass. attention either, unfortunately. Oh goodness, you never pay attention. It's okay. What? So, so we were we were rewatching <laughs> an episode of Supernatural, the musical part <sighs> one. And his eyes are glued on the screen. He's not watching where he's plopping. And he sits on a roll. And he thinks we're sitting there screaming at him. Screaming at the, at the opener. Super, yeah, opener. Because <laughs> it was doing different things. It, it was, was I, entertaining. It I was saw scary. some different intros. Like one of them was an X-File one. Yes. Yeah. That was cool. But we, and... he thought we're, we were doing that. <laughs> but we're actually, we're sitting here going, great, get up. They're freaking out. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm just confused. He sat on the sh- sushi roll. It's okay. And now it's his personal sushi yeah, roll. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's how I claim my sushi is give it the lick it or sit on, on it. Oh, were you there that night where like we were eating the crab puffs and John like took his licked his hand and touched them all? So then my dad <laughs> licked his hand and went whack on top of him and he's oh like, I'll still eat them. Gosh, that's gross. <laughs> That is so gross. My my brother likes claiming his food. My older brother, mm-hmm. like we were giving my younger brother some more um, of the crab puffs we made, which had that yummy mixture of mm. the crab and the cream cheese we used in the oh, sushi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and then we just take you know the wonton wrappers. Mm-hmm. But um, my brother licked him because he didn't want to give him to my brother. So my dad licked his hand and then smacked my brother's plate for you know licking yeah. it. And he and he's just sitting there and he goes, "Why well, don't I still eat it?" I'm like, "That is so gross." There's like two different people's saliva on that. I just remember that when I was a kid, I was an idiot, and I would get the plates that I was going to have, and I would just like, right on it, and I'm like, this is my plate now. <laughs> and I would do yeah. the same with my fork and my and my glass and whatever else I might have around that would be for me to use. And it was kind of stupid, and it is stupid, and I realize that now, but I would do it because it was fun. Well, that and you're the baby. Yeah, I'm the baby of the family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the oldest in my family of siblings. Good for mm-hmm. you. Girls mature faster than guys, so technically I'm the oldest. Yeah. Not all of all of us. No, even if, well, I'm still more mature than you. <laughs> but I'm talking about Only my older sometimes, brother. Only sometimes, okay? Most times. More, most 90% of the time. <laughs> okay, I'll give you 90, but that's it. <laughs> I'm still winning, <laughs> right? <laughs> Goodness. Wow. wow. Anyways. Anywho. Yeah. What's a good movie that's going to be coming out? Spectre, we need. We haven't Spectre. seen that yet. We haven't seen Goosebumps yet. We haven't, we haven't seen, seen Goosebumps, Goosebumps either. Goosebumps. Frankenstein's coming out. Oh, uh, Star Wars Pimpsons. got a new trailer. Peak. Star Wars? Mm-hmm. Really? Star Wars has a new trailer. And there's a teaser trailer for uh, the Warcraft movie, isn't War. there? Yeah, we'll do a uh, reaction video to that. That's right, we need to do that. Yeah, we need to do that. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's when I said when we first started dating. <laughs> or even before we started dating, he'd he'd be like, uh, he'd be like, can you hand me that? I'm like, too much effort. <laughs> I still I still want someone to hold up a sign when we get married up above our heads that says Achima Unlocked. Give it player two or something like that. <laughs> Achieve player two. Achima Unlocked or something. So funny. Player two uh, unlocked. Uh, how about we do like the get Next the shirt level. that says player three when I'm pregnant? We'll get we'll, when we get to that bridge, okay. we'll cross it. All right, Jeez. we're gonna have Wait. to kill children. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, they're gonna be cute because of me. Yeah, I'll they're agree gonna with have that. hair because of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they're gonna have boogers because of me too. They're gonna have what? Boogers. I think that's a thing. Everybody has that problem. Oh, okay. No, they're gonna get that because of genetics. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Love you too, but <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Whatever. 
Oh, man. So, are you, are, are yeah. either of you excited for Thanksgiving at all? I not not Black Friday Thanksgiving. Yeah. Actual like Thanksgiving Thanksgiving? Yes. Good. Because yeah. the cool family comes into town. Your cool family. My cool family. Hey, comes my into family town. is just cool. <laughs> my family is my family and I have to deal with them. And I do enjoy the food we have. The food that I get on Thanksgiving is delicious. But I still have to deal with my family because I'm the youngest, like she said. You're the baby. I am the youngest of 11. Mm-hmm. Children. Oh, yeah. And now... I'm curious to know what happened now. <sighs> nieces, uh, nephews. Then all my okay. families that are married, they have their nieces and ne- their uh, children, children. Okay. with my nieces and nephews. And we have to fit all of that into one house. Dinky little house. Let's clarify that. Well, depending on the house that we're going to. Okay, is it bigger than our apartment? Yes. Uh, Um, our, the house that, my house? Yes. You were looking like you were going to say barely. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, actually, barely. Wow. Um. I don't want 11 people in here. I can barely hold seven. I mean, (laughs) Especially when, when Maya's one of them. Oh, goodness. The house that we go to, it's a... The house that we go to, it's like about... Just smile and nod. He's know. like, I don't know where this conversation's going. Oh, well. But, yeah. Lots of space. You need to find lots of space. Lots of space. Nope. Lots of tables. I, Gotta just, like, have a huge-ass I'm table. I think he's coming over for Thanksgiving at my house, because, like, he seems like he's inviting, like, the whole... Yard. Yeah, yeah everybody the whole over. city. I think he's coming to my parents. Though we're having two Thanksgivings. Mm-hmm. Um, That's what happens when you get married. Well, the week before he, we're having like a Thanksgiving slash birthday party for his brother. Um, the week before Thanksgiving, so mm-hmm. we'll be at his house, and I think it's just his siblings and their spouses. Mm-hmm. So me, um, and then the two <clears throat> other married people. So it's gonna be like six, seven, eight, and then the kid nine. Nine yeah. people, and then at my family's, it's gonna be him, um, my four brothers, I think my cousin and her husband, and maybe my aunt and uncle. I'm gonna eat a lot of food. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep. Yep, that's our game plan. Well, yeah. no, you have to work on Thanksgiving, don't you? Probably. <laughs> you know, the weird thing is, is that Which sucks. my turkey makes people sleepy, drowsy, whatever. I've never had that problem myself. Well, it's not that turkey makes you sleepy. It's because people overeat, and then their bodies kind of go into a food coma. My family does like that lunch thing, so you don't eat, and then you have the lunch. And then somewhere around six or seven, you have leftovers. But that's the best thing. My mom has never made a horrible meal, and so I'm taking her leftovers home with me. So I don't have to cook, because any meal that is a home-cooked meal that I don't have to cook, I will eat. The only thing that I don't like about the transition... From, you know, uh, Thanksgiving to Black Friday. It's not necessarily, you know, where people stay out after midnight at a store for them to open and buy something. It's not nothing to do with that. It actually is the fact that at midnight, after Thanksgiving, the Christmas music starts playing. No, no, are you kidding me? Before that. Are you kidding me? That's officially. Sunday. That's officially when it starts playing. Sunday after the, Halloween, November first at Toys R Us, there were Christmas songs really? already That's awful. played. Why are we skipping holidays? Why can't we just take them in Cause, order? Because Christmas is the most expensive one. It's where you get. It's the, the th- most lucrative. Yeah, yeah that's indeed. true. That and it's easy. stupid. Yeah. I think Christmas is overrated. Overrated. I have never... Well, I've enjoyed Christmas once upon a time, but it's not very often anymore. Can we, can we go back to, like, the Christmas Carol, where their, the, their biggest concern Christmas Day was Christmas Feast? Wouldn't that be great? And the joy of being with your family? I don't really have Christmas dinner at my family, so I don't know if your family does that. They do. We okay. will. We'll be we're chilling with do, your family. We're going to do Christmas. Morning. Uh, yeah, presents in the morning. Probably some sort of food. Probably major lunch. 
you know, Brunch. and then just hang out the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. Probably watch Christmas movies. Either. Not only will we watch Christmas movies on Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. But we'll all be married at that point. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you guys will. My family has a tradition that I like to do, and I'm, I'm trying to keep going on. I'm scared. Basically, the last couple of years, we've managed to see a movie at the theater on Christmas Day. I've done that several times, too. It's actually kind of fun. <clears throat> the first time we did it was with, we went and saw Marley and Me. Mm. And then we saw Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. I don't remember the other movies we saw last couple of years. I remember the important ones. <laughs> of course. So yeah, no, like me and my family, we've done, me, well rephrase me and my siblings have done that several times where we we ditch the rest of the family and go run to the movie theaters. Yeah. Yeah. So I might do that. I'm really but, looking forward to the ham. The ham is so good. Like, I'm not a big fan of turkey. I like ham. I prefer ham, too. Oh, best best ham. Especially ham with the... Like the honey baked ham? Well, and the... um, Brown sugar glazing? The the Dijon mustard and whipped cream sauce. Oh, right. (laughs) Oh, gosh. I want ham now. Ow. Please don't do that. The microphone picks up on it. (laughs) (laughs) very nice but yeah I like I do like oh have you guys seen how it should have ended Big Zero Six no No. oh my gosh it's so good okay tell us basically uh, Hero is in the police station uh, reporting his microbot stolen and Big and Baymax is like and no, the, the police officer, he's like, why? well, can't you just like get a override system or something or something along that line? And then Baymax is like, yeah, I'm downloading that right now. And then he gets the microbus to bring Callahan in and he's, and that's it. <laughs> it's just... That's funny. Straight away. Of course, you know, that's not how the movie would have played out. The writer wouldn't have made it that easy. Yeah, but it's the same principle. I mean, Hero could have made another... Uh, Transmitter yeah. to foul up or at least control or maybe even Take have a, like a like a more dominant system yeah. or something. Basically We're how go to the second one. And basically, how it should have yeah. ended is more or less like a contradiction to what the writers actually Wanted. had to write. Yeah, yeah. but so. still, it's a good one, and you should definitely watch it if you get the chance to, because it is fun to watch, and I probably like, didn't do it justice. Like the Eagles and with Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Eagles. but I found that movie to be very anticlimactic. Which, Which the, one? Lord of the Rings. All Which one? <laughs> the final one. The oh, the like, third one? Where Not the finally, final one! The, where they finally threw the ring in, and they were like flying away with the eagles, and I'm like, this you, isn't really Did you miss the part where climatic. Frodo lost a finger? Yeah. Did you miss Although, the part where all the orcs got killed when the yes. eye exploded and the freaking floor <laughs> and more dropped away? Although, although I will say this. A part that really like got to my heart was at the ceremony, and basically the um, and hobbits were going to bow down to the king, but they're like, "No, no, you bow down to no one," and, and everyone bowed both- down. I was almost in tears the first time I saw that. It was that so beautiful. Is, that is very cool. Whoa, I- whoa, whoa, whoa! You'll be in tears for that, but I try on my wedding dress in front of you and nothing? Oh, come on. No, 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 come no. Come on, we're guys. We don't care about the You better cry on our wedding day. I'll leave you there. I had a dream that my parents started our wedding without us. Like, who does that? Nobody do that. I have no idea. I don't know what I was Where thinking about. Where were you about. in the dream of With this? you, getting food. <laughs> Well, that does kind of make sense. Right. We were hungry. I don't know what we were doing the day of the wedding, but like we were hungry and getting food, or like wanting to get food, and they wouldn't let us have it, and so we ran. In our, you know, I was in my dress. He was, and not, yeah, and we went to go get food, and like I don't know what my mom was thinking, but like the groom's not in the front. Why on earth would you start without the groom in the front? I mean, you better not get cold feet. I will come hunt you down, <laughs> but, and they will help me. Okay. Yep, anyway. I'll help. Woo! I got carrot top. Anyway, um, so and I have all of your belongings in the apartment. That's so, true. Ransom. Anyway, <laughs> but like they just started walking the parent, like my my mom down the aisle, and like my dad went by himself because I wasn't there. But like you have like the little flower roll, and then my dad walks down, and they're like, "Where's the bride?" And he goes, "I don't know." I'm like, "Why'd you start without the bride and the groom?" <laughs> it's like what? Right? <laughs> 
And so, like, we went to get food, and then, like, I remember screaming at my mom because, like, the flower girl, like, left the pe- pedals there. I'm like, well, you better go have people pick them up because we're doing it again. And she's like, why can't you just walk out there? I'm like, why did you start without me? <laughs> and so I was telling my mom this stream, and she's like, I must really wanted to have gotten rid of you. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, that's that's kind of terrible, but that's funny. That's hilarious. That's what I dream about. And then last night I had a dream I was in a dorm that had like this little oven thing. Oh. Instead of like an actual oven, it was like a toaster oven. And it was like this, I want to say the size of me, but not. But like, you know, like a big square, like the size of a microwave. Yeah. <laughs> the toaster and oven. Like, it, every time you go to open it, it shocks you. And I'm like, I'm like wait a minute, I'm engaged. I don't have to live in a dorm. And so then I went to go, because my, like, one of my actual roommates that I had way back when was sleeping in the, okay. like, the, what? basically on the couch Mm -hmm. because there wasn't enough room and so they put her in there in our apartment but she was sleeping on the couch because there wasn't enough room so I went in there to try to be like hey just go ahead and have her take my spot and they're like but we need to have some basically I had to pay for it or something I'm like dude there's not an oven in there it's just like this shock shocker toaster (laughs) it was weird (laughs) I, I have weird dreams. Dreams generally are weird. Oh, I've had some creepy ones. I'll have to tell you about them later, though. My best friend that's, like, really nice to everybody was a serial killer. <laughs> and no one believed her. And she kept telling people, well, I could be... It was like a zombie dream. Uh-huh. And she kept telling everybody, because we're like, hey, we've got to figure out who the kill, who the killer is. And she kept telling people, I am. And we're like, oh, no, be serious now. <laughs> oh, and then gosh. at the end, we realized it was her. And I could not walk near her for a week. <laughs> She's it's like, Emily, ones. what's going on? I'm like, please don't come near me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go over something. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Let's go back a couple of com- a couple of concepts. In uh, the uh, Lord of the Rings, Return oh, of the King, yeah. um, my, the part that almost gets me to cry, because I don't actually cry, I almost cry. Almost. Uh, um, it like, was when... he sees that tear like in like... It's like, get in back my, in there, tears. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, with the chance of meatballs. meatballs. There we go. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's the one. Um, but the one that almost makes me cry is when Frodo is is like laying on Mount Doom and he can't go any further. And then sla- and he's Sam's trying to motivate him with by talking about home, and he can't do it because he's just like traumatized by the by the re- psychic trauma of the ring, I suppose. And the weight. Yeah. yeah. And so. Sam's like, I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. And he picks him up and he carries him up the mountain. And I'm like, <laughs> Sam. Oh, man. Oh, man. Though I'm pretty sure if I was Frodo and my friend was talking about going home, I'd be like, are you trying to make me even more depressed? <laughs> <laughs> Strawberries and cream and the short comparing. people everywhere. <laughs> short I'm people just everywhere. glad that they didn't stop with Lord of the Rings. They did the Hobbit as well. Mm. The Hobbit was it's a good, good idea. It was a good idea to do the Hobbit. It was very enjoyable. I liked. Uh, I think it was like the first one actually, where they were at. Uh, it's not Frodo, is it? Bilbo. They were at Bilbo's house. Like all of them were there, Bag and end. when they were cleaning up the dishes, they're just throwing them everywhere. Somehow catching everything, cleaning up the place. It was like, man, eh, that's pretty cool. So. That's what they describe in the book, isn't it? Yes, it is. Really? Yeah. The, I, apparently That's the movies seen... are as close to the book as you can possibly yeah. get. Except for the end. Well, of course, because apparently it's a battle and got, and uh, Fro- mm-hmm. and Bilbo gets knocked out for it, so they had to show the battle. Yeah. That and... The ending was like way off of the book. What I didn't like is the fact that he got a sword to the foot. I mean, how, oh. you're following the little ogre thingy... What I don't understand. Down the river. Why are you getting so close to him? He's not dead yet. I mean, leave him alone. Don't drown that fast, and he just yeah. gets stabbed in the foot. It's like, well, you just had that coming. That's what I was thinking. I was like, very first time I saw it, he's floating Stab in him. the water. He's Stab him. walking next to him. I'm like, it's Stab like, him. watch him from here. Stab him. <laughs> Stab him, like, and no, then he stabs him in the foot, and I'm like, idiot! Your fault. Yeah. This is entertaining. So, you know, at the first Hobbit movie, they're sitting in the kitchen, and then this came to mind. I actually was told about this on YouTube as some sort of (laughs) factual trivia type thing. Uh You know, like, they're sitting there in the kitchen, they're just talking out of nowhere. One of them throws some sort of food to the fat one. It's an egg. It's a hard-boiled egg. He catches it in his mouth. 
they were going to like go through a couple like cuts to try and see how many times they could do it. And apparently they got on the first try. So they're, that's why they celebrated so much. It's like, oh, we don't have to do any more of it now. We can continue. <laughs> that's good. It, it, it's those those random shots like that where it's like, first take. The, the, <laughs> Let's see you do that again. Yeah. <laughs> it's always those random actor moments that they just like, in, that's inspired. Yeah. That, that are the best. That whole well, scene is more unscripted than it is scripted. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing they did it on the first time because if there was something else that needed to be done the first time in that scene and they did that part but then there was another part and they messed up, they'd have to keep doing it and because they got lucky the first time, they didn't have, have to yeah. continue yeah. on so they can move on. <laughs> but yeah. Get it over with. I love things like that. And... I think you guys already know this because you probably saw behind <laughs> I'm the scenes. I'm stopping you. I love this thing. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> wow! Wow! Dude, what is wrong with you? Ruining my focus. Good. You don't really focus anyway. What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. Continue. So you guys, we haven't seen the new Mission Impossible movie, which we should. Yes. But that part we saw in the trailer where he's like. Holding, holding on to on? the plane for dear life. They had that's, to do that ten times. But that's actually him. It's actually that's him doing it. Like him, doing that. He is he is in a harness strapped to the side of the plane, and they took off and landed like ten times yeah. to get that shot. Uh, it's very cool of Tom Cruise to do that. And when I was watching the video, I don't know if you guys were with me. I was. I was going to smack me. In he the was face talking with about hand. how he like held his breath for a super long time underwater as well for a scene. Yep. The the scene where he's first when he's going into the whatever the water. You see it in the in the yeah. trailer. Yeah. I really want to see that movie as well as some of those that came out recently. Yeah. But unfortunately. You're having money issues. What are you doing? I'm touching who, you. Who doesn't have money issues? Rich people. Yeah, well, the only reason they don't have money issues is because they make everybody else have money issues. That's true. This is very true. Yeah. It's, what keeps the rich... <laughs> what keeps the rich rich? The Us poor. Keeping, the poor being poor? The rich keeping the poor poor. Yeah. I'm going to be oh, rich Are we going to start making like a rap song now? Yeah. No. no I can't. Well, I can't. you know my rap name is Too Short. Too Short. Yeah. <laughs> thing. What? Too Short in the Thing. Why can't you be like fatty or something? Remix. <laughs> That's what I like to do. That's my thing. All right. Thing. Moving on. Next Yo, subject. Can I have your to anything <laughs> other than yeah, that, please. You already have my number and That's a key true. to my apartment. Ooh. Um, Why are we touching my tablet? I don't know. I was touching my feet. <laughs> I'll touch your feet. I'm just kidding. That's weird. That's creepy. <laughs> um, anybody, thought, something, please. My brain... Sometimes when I can't sleep, I count wiener dogs. <laughs> why, don't there... you call, why don't you count like our dog, like Iris's? <laughs> Iris. <laughs> Iris. Iris. Random <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> Iris. <laughs> Flower. That's true. Great iris is a flower. Yeah. See how many iris. <laughs> I'll think too hard. I'll be awake forever. I no. I this is why you can't count sheep. What do you guys do when you can't sleep? I music. Uh, Sometimes I do that. The thing about music though is that I can only fall asleep to the radio for some reason, and that keeps going, so it's hard for me to wake up as well. That's true. I, I unless it's I on do low, and then you're yeah. I do Pandora when I sleep because it has it suddenly to turn off when like you can set it, and I always do for an hour because I'm yeah. out within that hour, and, and then, then somehow I wake up like 45 minutes after it goes off. I'll be like, oh, the music's not playing, the like, whatever, and I'll go back to bed. But <laughs> it doesn't matter that at works. that point, right? Um, um oh yeah, oh. I have a hard time going to bed a lot of times. I. I can't get comfortable. I flip, and then I flip again, and then I have to readjust the blanket, and I have to make yeah. sure the blanket is He's positioned blanket just thief. so. What? Yeah. yeah, why do you think we slip two different blankets? Um, because you take the blanket. No, you take the blanket. We basically fight for it all night. <laughs> so, you're I both the blanket thieves. Well, not anymore. We, we both well, plus like, he's use separate blankets. 
We've been doing that for long. Yeah. For a while now. It works. So I realized that my right hand is better than my left. Because, see, I have my ring. Right. And I'm putting it on this finger and it goes on without a problem. But I put it over here and it gets stuck and then I can't get it off. <laughs> yeah, that's what I noticed about my rings. Uh, this one doesn't <clears throat> get so hard to take off. But this one, it's still hard sometimes. But, some, well, never mind. So, random comment I want to no. say. It kind of, I'm kind of bummed that summer's over now. Why? You had a good summer. I was there. Yeah. It was pretty good. I love autumn. Autumn's my favorite season. However, this week, all of a sudden, it got really cold. And yes. did you see it snow on Thursday? <coughs> yes. It snowed a little bit, yeah. Yeah, like I was driving around Friday afternoon too, and there were white little dots floating around in the air. And I'm just it wasn't like, no. like nice puffy stuff. It was just like barely anything. But like you can see it, and then you're like, oh no. So you know there's going to be like deformed snowmen on the side of the road. Right. Un- unlike me, I just roll a snowball until I can't push it anymore. Right. And yeah. that becomes your base. Yes. <laughs> and then you pile everything on top well, of it. Well, the- yeah. yeah. I haven't made a snowman That makes so much sense to this song now. Because I'm all about, about that the base. About, about that, that base. base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That's actually really kind of mm. nice pun there. But hey, yeah. it was Megan Trainer, not me. It is. By the way, I hate Megan Trainer's music. Ow! It sucks. Calm down. I'm sorry. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. We're just gonna leave you on the side of the road where no one can find you. <laughs> All right. In Vegas? <laughs> no one cares about anybody on the side of the road. They're like, oh, they're homeless. It's winter. It's okay. And they're like, um, yeah, those things sucks. come by, they sweep up the trash, just takes the bodies with him. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Body we'll, we'll, we'll just dump the body on our way down to Vegas, and then we'll have a good time in Vegas. Okay. Without him. And then we'll take a new way back up. And then we'll take a new way back up. There you go. What? We'll go through, through St. George the first time. That's what we're leaving you. Oh. <laughs> Let's change the subjects and not talk about how you're going to ditch me. <laughs> What, you don't like the idea of me ditching you? Not really. How, how she's going to ditch you and we'll, we'll go have a girls week in Vegas? You can go have your girls week, just don't kill me in the process. I guess we'll have a guys week. Yeah. yeah. Fun. We'll catch up on some Attack on Titan because we totally haven't seen that for months. I haven't. I have finished it. So <clears throat> well, mm-hmm. I'm super behind. And aren't they working on another season now? On what? I think Attack on well, Titan. Oh, I thought we were um, talking about Walking Dead. He scared me yesterday when he turned yeah, it on. we're trying to catch up on Walking Dead don't as well. Don't poke me. I don't like Walking Dead. I don't like zombies. I've said this many times Other than before. I Zombie. Other than I Zombie. You guys caught up? Oh my gosh. No. Speaking of which. Oh, yes. don't ruin it for me. Yes. I'm caught up. So, my nephew was down here the other day, yeah. and he's like, I hate iZombie. It's not real zombies. And then my sister texted me later on, and she, and my nephew was complaining to her about the same thing, how iZombie isn't real iZombies. Yeah. And she, he, my sister's like, oh, I have to look at the text. It's so funny. Apparently. No, she's like... That she says something, but we have to look at the text so uh, we can get it right. My sister and me, so we we're funny. Correctly. Yeah. Because I'm Batman, she's Robin. Even it, though you're the younger one. Even though I'm the... <laughs> yes. I'm the younger one by a lot, actually, but... How many years? Ten. Wow. <laughs> So, they had everybody, and then just ten years later, they just decided to have an Aubrey. Well, no, so, she was an accident. Oh, yeah. Let me guess. Random. You accidentally showed up. It's okay, you were an yeah. accident, too. So, yeah, so that happened. It's like Super Smash Brothers when you have a surprise player to play against, like Ness or Garth or Mario or Luigi. My sister. I zombie is awesome, and you are stupid. My nephew. Poof. That, that's what Aubrey said. <laughs> yes. My nephew doesn't know what is cool because he, he, he is stuck on The Walking Dead and Minecraft and that is it. Was that the nephew you brought over and he yes. loved my pajamas and my bookcase? Yes. Yep. That's him. So your nephew likes me in a I don't know way, but yeah, it was funny. He's like, I like her. We'll be it's, friends. It's kind of difficult having a life uh, because you got all these shows to watch. Huh. I mean, he, do, do you think he has a life? He has more of a life than I do. I he think he's about to have a wife, so I think he has a life. <laughs> okay, let me go through what shows I am burdened with. I am like that I like have in one butt, week. By your butt, it's okay. okay. Yeah. On Monday, I have Gotham. Gotham. 
on Tuesday, I have The Flash, Flash iZombie, and I also, I think it's that Agents day, I also Shield. have The League. Uh, Wednesday, I have Arrow. And I have Supernatural. Supernatural. Thursday, I don't think that there's anything for me. I have two shows. Friday, I have How to Get Away with Murder. I don't have a show on Friday. And now for Saturdays, I've got Ash vs. Evil Dead. I don't have a show on Saturdays. I have a whiteboard to keep track of everything because I've got like 30 shows that I'm currently watching. I just watch them on Hulu. Um, right? I am loving Hulu, Hulu without ads. Hulu useful. I am loving it. I need it. to upgrade. Or you can just use mine. No, I'll upgrade because my sister and I use our... I know. I gave so. my information to my parents. I'm like, here, use this. So it's getting, you know, the $12 worth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I have the Hulu account. My sister has the Netflix account. And so it... And I, yeah. He has the Netflix. I have the Hulu. There you and go. That's how it works. Although it might the, get canceled this month. Why? Because I don't have money until next week. The Through November who? started like last week. Yeah, it's November. Yeah. We're getting married in a month. Yes. 42 days to be exact as of right now. Yes, you are. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, well. You scared? Do I look scared? Yes. Then I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Wow. I think. I know. Just, just kidding. It is very quiet not having Maya here. Yeah, well, it is a little different. It's a bit of a different feel, but it's still it's still fun. Maya has a lot of thoughts that go through his head, and Maya is not quiet about them. And he rants. And he rants. That's so do we, thing. but you yeah. know. We don't. Yeah, but our rants are a little bit more to the point, whereas his rants are more like this, 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 this. It's all like this. And you never get to the point. <laughs> and you never get to the point. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether he's here or not. I can't really get a word in as much as I want to anyways. Right? I don't talk as much as, I, as you guys You're do. You're just not as outgoing place. as you need to be. Or I mean, just hate the sound of my voice on, you know, when I'm playing it back on something. Everybody. Everybody doesn't way. like the sound of their voice. The reason is I have being a friend that doesn't feel that way, though. Really? She's like, I sound amazing. I think she's just full of herself, though. Probably. Yeah. Maya likes the sound of his voice. I think we can just... I like the sound of his voice. <laughs> that one? That made my <laughs> face itch that time. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I can't wait till November's over so he'll shave. I'm gonna look like a homeless man by the next <laughs> You're week gonna be or two. a homeless man again. By Thanksgiving, I will look like a hobo. Please shave for Thanksgiving so you're not one of those people that has, like, food in their beard. <laughs> <laughs> then you will be a homeless person. <laughs> I'll put gravy on it just for you. Just, like, comb my beard with gravy for Thanksgiving. That's disgusting. Our dog will help you clean that. Have and you may not it. have hair after that. And she <laughs> yeah. might have a giant hairball. <laughs> I, I'm always worried for our dog because she eats things. The other day, okay, so she'll, she'll look and herself Steve, like a And cat. we should. Okay. And so she she licks herself at night. We'll be laying there about to sleep and you can hear her licking herself. <laughs> the other night, I kid you not, you don't say a thing. We're just sitting there and I thought I heard the same sound. And he's all like, what is that? I'm like, she's licking herself. And he goes, no, I don't think so. He turns on the light. There's barf everywhere, and she's trying to lick it up. <laughs> and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, a dog licking she itself, thought... that's not a dog licking itself. <laughs> no. It was more sloshy than it should have been. <laughs> uh... It still sounds the same. But the thing is, is she thought she was going to be in trouble, so she started <laughs> cleaning it up. <laughs> yeah, she thought she was going to be in trouble from throwing up. She's like, I got to get rid because of this. Because every time she poops in there or pees in there, Grant will be like sticking her nose in it. We both do it. And so she's like, mess. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it was the throw up instead of something that went through the system. Either way, I mean, wait, you have to clean it up. Exactly. Yeah, either way. Either true. way, you clean it up. I mean, well, there was I mean, this one like, day where I, like, was letting her go outside. The first thing that came out of her butt was a little <laughs> earplug. Yeah, I, like, it looked weird when it came out. I was like, what is that? What it is that? Orange. And I, it came out. I took a closer look at it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that lasted through your intestine the entire way through. Your but stomach then he acid. takes a picture and shows it to me when he comes back inside. No, that's the man... Of me doing that. So he's like, just look what our dog pooped out. And I'm like, <laughs> Thank what? you. Why? I'm like, is that an earplug? So 
I have to tell you how she ate the earplug in the first place. Of course. So I went down to my mom's house, mm-hmm. and she was riding back with me, and it was only me in the car. So she sat in the seat for a little bit, but then she's like, ooh, van, more space. I'm going to go explore. Wonder. And she must have found it when she was back there. So then the next morning, because that was at night, the next morning would be the time she'd poop Pooped anything out. out that she'd ate in my car. Yeah. <laughs> Which included but, an earplug. I didn't know I had orange earplugs in my car, so... Apparently you did. Well, then again, when I clean up my car, I found things I didn't know I had in there, so... Well, there you go. then again, with her throwing up in the cage, I have no idea what she ate in order to throw up. That's true, because, like, I had fed her, and she had gone to the bathroom, and, like, she hadn't eaten anything for a couple of hours. Did she eat grass? Well, I, we don't grass, know. So it looks meaty, like it was pork-type. Mm. But then we think it's, like, the, the treats we got her, they are jerky. Uh, but they're like sticks, and so we only give her a fourth of one now because we were giving her a half. Um, and I had given her one within 30 minutes. I gave her like half because she sat down and she chilled with me. And then like I put her back in the cage and she looked all sad, so I gave her the other half. <laughs> like 45 minutes later, probably what did it. But now we just give her a fourth, and we wait a couple hours before we give her another one if we give her another one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't want to clean that up again. Yeah. Moderation. But yeah, yeah. It, it was funny. We'll just leave it there. She's afraid of him most of the time because she's afraid that she's in trouble. Mm-hmm. Like, he'll go to play with her and she'll be like, no, and then she'll run and hide behind me. Sometimes I'll be in the bathroom, like, putting contacts in or something. She'll, she'll run in there and try to hide behind me. I'm like, I'm not protecting you. <laughs> well, it's like that episode of Last Man Standing that you were watching. That's true. Oh, where, like, the dad got into a... F- the- he, he the deadbeat punched, dad got into a fight. He, at yeah, the he punched game. the kid. He punched the, the one kid, guy, the guy, and then the kid thought, you know, that that's how he was, and was so terrified Fight of him. him. He's like, oh, I'm not scared of you, but I won't hug you. But because he kept saying, "You're not scared of me," and he goes, "Fine, I'm not scared of you." But yeah, and then we realized that she listens to me more than him now too. Yep. So he tells her to sit; she won't sit. I'll tell her to sit; she'll sit. It, it was the other way before he started working nights. Mm. Um, and when we both were working at Vivin. Yeah. Um, but then, like, I spend more time with her. That's also one thing, because that would mean that you're more dominant to her. Mm-hmm. And that's how yeah. it Yeah, that's work. how it needs to be for her, because I spend more time with her. Yeah. yeah. But she's, like, the cutest dog. I taught her a whole bunch of new tricks. That bell over there, we get her to hit it every time she's going out to the bathroom. Yep. Oh, right. Aww. Um, and sometimes I'll be watching Netflix... And, she, like, she'll be laying here with me because that's what I do while I wait for him when he's at work. Mm-hmm. Um, she'll just walk over there and she'll hit it. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It's, like, negative 10 outside. <laughs> I'm not going out there. Um, once, I was really lazy and I took her out of the balcony. Really but that just nice. held her over the balcony. <laughs> no, I just let her walk out there. She didn't pull a Michael Jackson. <laughs> that was his child. Technically, she's our child. For now. For now. Yeah. yeah. For now. <clears throat> oh, what am I thinking? Yeah. I heard a thought, but then everybody kept talking, and my thought just went poof. Just keep talking so he hair. doesn't get it back. <laughs> my, my puppy so isn't that bad. No, my he's... puppy's cute. Oh, that's what it was. Although I get yelled at every time I call him puppy. Obviously, Iris is more, you know, she listens to you, and that usually means that you're the more dominant one in the relationship. Relationship. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she's just like what? nothing. Nothing. No. I thought it would get a little bit of a reaction no. from him, but nope. Do you think I'm more dominant? No. I don't think so either. I think we're equal. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> In a good relationship, it's not fifty-fifty. It's a hundred. Hundred. Yep. There you go. You got that from my dad, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> good job. Like good. two days ago when he made pancakes. And then they he left so them there. Good. I oh don't my know gosh. why. I, have, I just forgot. We got okay. in the car and I'm like, we got home. We got into our parking lot. I'm like, you left the pancakes at my parents' house. And that was yesterday. So we went back today for them. Yep. Aww. And we got some more stuff from there, didn't we? Yeah, they gave us fruit. Which we're going to turn into fruit sushi. And we're going to make it properly this time and not How to mush my fridge. Fruit sushi? Yeah. yeah. You like put coconut milk in with the rice. Sorry, I smacked you. And then like you put vanilla and stuff in there. You put vanilla instead of vinegar. Uh-huh. And you put the salt and the sugar in there. And then you you put it in there with it so when it cooks it absorbs. Right. Instead of adding it after like what we do with this. Yeah. 
And then you put fruit in there, and you don't do the seaweed nori yeah. things. You can just roll it up, and then you just cut it. I was thinking that there would be, like, fruit roll-ups, and you just, like... Nope. You want make it extra... Mm-hmm. With rice. Yeah. Just a can, and, can and the rice then, tastes though. like rice pudding. Kind yeah. Of. You get a rice pudding. But, like, it, it was nice. You can taste the vanilla. I put a little bit more vanilla in there than I should have. But, well... The coconut milk I have is vanilla flavored, so it was nice. There you go. Yeah, and I thought it tasted good, but it wouldn't cut right, mm-hmm. and so I just put it in that container and I ate it the day after. But it's not good what? anymore. It's kind of squishy, so I'm just gonna dump it out and we'll make more later because I have mango and I have strawberries. We have a few raspberries left. We did dragon fruit. Mm. I don't know if you guys have had that. I have. But it. A, oh, you know how fruit. they have the dragon roll for regular sushi. Yeah. Dragon fruit, fruit roll. roll. <laughs> Dragon fruit roll. Yeah, I thought it was clever too. Mm, but it was good. nice. And he took, since it was c- turning into mush when we were trying to cut it, he took the dragon fruit to work. Now, there's two different types of dragon fruit. You have the white one, mm-hmm. and then you have the pinkish purple one that turns your bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> Very fun colors. Yeah, I thought I was sick the first time <laughs> I had it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm peeing blood. And it didn't <laughs> occur to me that it was the dragon fruit until like something else came out. Purple. That stuff <laughs> dies. <laughs> Re- that, dragon fruit is so used apparently dies. Your insides is what yeah. it is. And so actually I turned out good this time because I didn't eat all that much. Uh. But like the first time I had it, we mixed it with like, it, we, yeah, we made like smoothies out of it. And I was, well, I thought I was dying. Like we just barely started dating at the time and he wanted to hang out. I'm like, uh, well, I had a headache, and I'm like, I think there's something wrong with me. I don't want to go anywhere in case I need to go to the hospital. And then, like, it dawned on me that, hey, dragon fruit, that that one kind, but... It might be the reason. It's yeah. purple. Yeah. But then there's, like, have you seen the orange one that's shaped like this? Yes. Like, it looks like it has boogers inside of it. It is it gross. Does. Oh, goodness. You don't, no, I don't know. I, I, but no. dragon fruit, I like, it's good. Dragon fruit's good. I have star fruit in the fridge. Ooh. Star fruit. Um, that sounds good. We didn't put star fruit in there, but we could if we wanted to, like a star fruit sushi. Um, we had strawberry banana. That's what I have the mush in there. <laughs> but um, strawberry banana, kiwi strawberry. We have kiwis in there too. Yeah. We just got to eat this first and then go on from there. <laughs> we made sushi. A lot of sushi. Lots of Lots it. There's like three plate, four plates over there with sushi on it. Gonna have leftover sushi. Oh, well, good, because you wanted to make sushi tomorrow. But I haven't heard back from my friends either, so... <clears throat> okay, and I'll probably just big. take some to work, which I like to do anyway. That's true, but finish it this time. He took some sushi that was homemade to work, and he didn't... He picked, We take the Walmart bags. That's what you use them for. Walmart and Target give them to you. You reuse them. They're and good so bags. He had, the, he had like two or three pieces left in his container, and he left it on the counter. And I didn't find it for a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> I made him clean it out. <laughs> I am the dishes, man. Yeah, see, I don't like dishes. I don't really want to go into details. Let's just say my family let them stack up for a while, mm. and you don't want to clean food. Basically, they don't scrape them out either. Um, and so, well, I've done dishes here a couple times because we're not messy individuals, and they're not hard to clean. But I told him that if he helps me keep the counters clean and does the dishes, I will clean everything else. And we haven't had a problem with each other since. That works. We, we typically don't have problems about cleaning, but we both take turns rotating laundry and stuff. So yeah. you find out what works, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we work it pretty good as a couple. So mm. good to know, especially since you're getting married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a great nerdy wedding. What did I say today? I told my mom I was gonna keep him. And she's like, "I'm glad you're marrying him." I'm like, "If I wasn't keeping him, I wouldn't be marrying him." Weirdo. <laughs> Yeah. He likes me with my glasses and I don't. He's like, oh, you're my little nerd. And I'm like, I can see the rims. <laughs> <laughs> it bugs me. He's like, I would see better if I couldn't see the room stuff up here. You're right. Yeah. Well, those glasses are the kind of shade out in the sun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they turn into sunglasses. That's so nice. I've only owned one pair of sunglasses in my life. And then another one was given to I me. I always lose sunglasses. It's inevitable. Even you if I try, them. they either break or I lose them. No matter mm-hmm. how hard I try to take care of sunglasses, something will happen to them eventually. I don't lose them. I can make them last for a while, but eventually they'll break or get lost, and I'll just be like, great, now i got to buy another pair. I remember Eddie Izzard. He did a 
piece regarding sunglasses and how you lose them. And he made he made a comment how like if you have expensive sunglasses, you're always gonna lose them. It's inevitable. It's gonna happen. And you you could, um, but if you have a cheap pair of sunglasses, they're going you you can't get rid of them. So if you you're on a boat and you lean over and your cheap sunglasses fall off. A scuba diver will come up and say, Hey, did anybody lose some sunglasses? <laughs> yeah. It's always the cheap stuff. It's, it's always, always the, the cheap, cheap stuff. stuff that you never get rid of. The expensive stuff that just disappears sooner or later. That magic or, or it breaks. Like I've had really good headphones that oh, yeah. break, but then like cheap ones, I can like sleep with those things in my ears and they won't break. Which is kind of ridiculous considering how if it's it, expensive, yeah. you expect it's, it to last. You expect yeah. it to be made really, really you, well. Yeah, you accidentally yeah. bump into something and it yanks it out of your ear. Now that one ear won't work. Right? Yep. Well, it's like Apple products. Every Apple product. <laughs> more like, more or less the iPhone 6 Plus or something like that, where mm-hmm. the, when it first came out, people were posing how it would bend very easily. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, people yeah. would, it would be, they put it in their back pocket. They sit sitting, down they and and it would, And then it started bending it, so yeah, because of how thin it was. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, you drop a Apple product... That screen will shatter instantly. Like when Dana dropped her phone. So my sister dropped her phone getting out of Galen's car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. It like the screen shattered and it was a brand new phone too. It spider webs. Like that. Yep. yep. I'm really good with my electronics. I still have like the original DS. Wow. Yeah. It's like it's a, a teal colored one. Kind of like Squirtle. Right. Um. And it was like a Nintendogs limited edition, and I got it when I was younger, and I and I still have it. But all mine. of my brothers and my sister have gone through a lot of them. That actually reminds me, earlier this year, I think you might have been there. We had this one session of Nerd Week, um, back at the other place in the garage. Yeah. And I had my phone sitting there, on like a timer thing, and. It was on the edge of the table, so when it went off, it flipped, it fell from the vibration, and it broke upon impact. Yep. Now, the reason why I had to get it replaced is because it cracked in a certain way of the touchscreen to where I couldn't make it do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going like this, going like that. What type it was of phone did you have? It was like more or less like this, except it wasn't a flex. Mm-hmm. You know? And that's why you got a new one in April? Yeah. Because it broke. And I'm like, oh, well, let's go get another phone because I'm not going to deal with not having a phone. Which, and that's so funny. People are like, galaxies are like retarded and everything. Androids but, are pretty good. But are you, yeah, I, both my tablet and my phone, they're both Androids, the galaxies. And I have dropped my phone so many times. On cement, on hard stuff, it is like bounced and, and flipped and everything. I've dropped my tablet. I accidentally threw my tablet one time. <laughs> That's not smart. Nothing. No scratches, no dents. The screens aren't even broken. Good quality material. It's good quality because it's not glass stuff. That's the problem yeah. with Apple is all of their screens are glass. Where every other person, where every other company does not use glass, they use more of a, like an acrylic. Mm-hmm. So it's even better. That's why you don't buy Apple. Mm-hmm. Oh, my friend locked himself out of um, his phone. I can't remember if it was like what part of his phone for Apple. Oh, right. But they wanted to charge him to give him the password. Oh, that's yep. dumb. And so dumb. something he yep. could just figure out. Like he could go through and reset it. <clears throat> But, like, yeah, they wanted to charge him, and he ended up talking to, like, a whole bunch of people just to get it fixed. You know what was really annoying? Um, I don't know why, but there's no problem with it down here in Orem. But when I went up to Sandy at one point, Mm -hmm. I wanted to pay my cell phone bill. So I'd go into a Sprint store kiosk to pay the bill. Right. But they wanted me, they wanted to charge me, like, $10 to pay the bill. Like, there's a fee to pay the, um, to pay your bill here. Um, with cash, and I'm like, um, no, that's because it doesn't cost ten dollars just up the street, you know. Right. It only, somebody's uh, collecting a little pocket money. Some people are just Sounds lazy like if it. they do it there. Yeah. So. Well, anyways, before we wrap up, Squirtle. We're out of, between 
out of the start original starter Pokemon, and not including Pikachu because Darn it. because <laughs> I know <laughs> which one would you choose? Bulbasaur. Why? <laughs> why to me? Not why to him? Because <laughs> it has like the little vine whips. It could just tie people up and like, they piss me off. Bulbasaur. Time to the tree. And he's cute. That's I true. would actually be a Bulbasaur myself too. He's the cutest one out of all of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, Pikachu. I'm a, yeah. I would of love to get Bulbasaur as long as he was actually from the original Squirtle Squad. You tell me why when I said Bulbasaur, but you can pick him and it's okay. Oh, Squirtle. <laughs> you said Bulbasaur. No. Squirtle. Okay. Did he not say Bulbasaur? He said Bulbasaur. Okay. Sorry, I meant Squirtle from the original Squirtle Squad. Okay. Yeah. If he's from lessons. yes, if he's from the Squirtle Squad, I want that Squirtle. Can I borrow your sunglasses for a minute? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you get, Ops? Yeah, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. <laughs> Don't hate me. Okay. <laughs> you can't hate me, buddy. Yes. Black Top. I, I Bulbasaur. Yeah, Bulbasaur. Because that's the only one I know. <laughs> Charmander. <laughs> Squirtle. So in the summer, are you are you Carrot Top and then in the winter you're Black Top because you wear the beanie? <laughs> okay. Or the Black Top. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. <laughs> you wish. Wow. Why can't you talk to me like that? <laughs> you know, if you were Thor's like adopted brother, it'd make more sense since you're ginger. It would make cause since you get your. He'd hair. make more sense than Loki. Yeah. Yes. Well, Loki was Jotunheim, uh, Jot- uh, Jotun, whatever, a nice giant. And yeah. Therefore, but he's he okay didn't to have know black that. hair. But like she says. Thor is supposed to be a ginger. He's supposed yes. to be a redhead. Are you supposed to be very That's what he is in Stargate. Yeah. He's a ginger Viking. <laughs> the hologram, at least, besides yeah. the, you know, eight green, gray alien yeah. type thing. Yeah. But anyways. Well, we what? need to wrap this up for this session. Ranters. Spoilers. Except news. for nobody really ranted. There was we nothing did. really spoiled. It was red. <laughs> It was rant. Well, it was just a random rant. And we didn't really spoil anything either. And I don't think anybody nern- nern- got nern shunned. Well, yeah, he did. He sat on the sushi. <laughs> well, that wasn't during the podcast. Oh, wait. Unless we want to consider when he accidentally said Bulbasaur. That could be a nerd shun. Because yeah. he's rogue Bulbasaur. and everything. I know. I was like, yeah. Unless Bulbasaur is sprouting marijuana from himself. <laughs> You I never know. Why do you think he's always mellow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and his voice is always like, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. <laughs> you know what that translates to? You gotta chill out, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, where was that part where Bulbasaur is singing? He goes, Bulba, Bulba, Bulbasaur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, have I shown Wasn't you? That in a, it's just like high. A like a Pokemon commercial? movie or something? Yeah, Pokemon yeah movie. he was high. <laughs> have I shown you Poke Awesome? No. What? Pika Remember that? Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> Venusaur with a question mark. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, well we're, that's gonna do it for this episode of Nerd Week. Leave a comment or subscribe, troll, and Luke will eventually get to trolling you back. Eventually. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sooner or later, maybe, maybe not, who knows. Gimpy, if he's alive <laughs> out there. This is Squirtle, I am Maya, and You are not Maya! Or I'm the thing. <laughs> Wow, that's the second time now. Shut up. <laughs> I'm taking him now. No, He's you better not. Well, you threw him. He's not your... Oh, you goodness. actually broke his tail. Oh, <laughs> you broke his tail. Okay, so we have the thing and rogue. Dragon. And carrot top. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. This is Sparta. This is Nerd Week, bro. This is Nerd Week. Not this is Sparta. Sparta. No, this is a knife. This is Spar- uh, Nerd Week. This is not a knife. That is a short blade. You're a short blade. Dragon. Take that. Dragon. <laughs> I'll stab you with this. Thanks for watching, you guys. This week's Nerd Week podcast. Please uh, like and subscribe our videos and channels because we got more videos coming out. Check out all of our old videos and check out everything that we've done before. We got our Twitter pages up right here. Yay, on the bottom. Instagram, check us out on Instagram. We post up pictures all the time. Yay. 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 By the way, 
This is Maya. I'm the thing. I'm the dragon. Maya. <laughs> Maya. A bibbidi bobbidi. Maya. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually loaded. I didn't even know that. That was that, great. Not it is cool. loaded. I left it. Don't pull it at your face. <laughs> not cool. Maya. <laughs> You'll pull your eye out. Maya. <laughs> dragon. Thing. Maya. Thing. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.